everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to show you um, what I made. This is a mixed metal necklace and I absolutely love the way this turned out. So I have some leftover chain here. I still have the copper and I still have some of the silver. So I connected these. I'll show you in the tutorial how I connected these and I did six little groups of these and then I had two jump rings and then one big jump ring and then I have all the little dangles at the bottom. So I love the way this turned out and excuse the beginning of the video, I did make some of these because I thought I was going to use these. No. I think if it would have been all silver you know, I, I had it in my brain what I was going to do. And then when I started doing it, I just was like, no, this didn't look right. I wanted just the, the clean metal look. So I didn't want any beads on this one. So I hope you enjoy this. And if you want to learn how to make this, then you stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting with this chain right here. I'm holding it up to the light, uh, the camera so you can see it really pretty and then I'm using this chain this is kind of like a deeper copper than most of the coppers out there I'm using these two together the silver's a little bit bigger because I want a little bit of contrast in it I want the copper to be more of okay so I ended up mixing the little um, eye pin balls here that I made and I ended up doing this instead I knew I wanted to do something with chain. I wasn't sure. I was working with it before I started the video. Then when I started the video, I turned it off. I was kind of, you know, because I didn't want to have you sit here and watch me figure this out. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. This could be like a really pretty bracelet. You could do different colors of chain. And you could still do... um you know, like a little something in between there if you want. I just wanted to kind of keep it plain. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay, so I have the jump rings. So I took, let me see here. So I take a head pin. That's how I measure it. And it's funny because I've watched some of the other beaters. This is pretty much how we all do it. And I put, I put the head pin right there. And then I measure it, this is an inch and a half. So I put my finger where that inch and a half should be. Oh, and then I put my, put it through there and I cut that. And don't forget to close your eyes when you do. <laughs> so, bring that. This does take a little bit of time to do, but I think it's kind of like a fun project. Like I sit here and I'm not filming. I'm sitting here watching my iPad. I watch all my shows. So, yeah. So this is what I usually do. So then I have it draped over like this. Then I go right to that next one and snip that off. A little jiggle. And you throw that in the garbage. So you got those two. Now we're going to do the silver. Like I said, I didn't want... Um, Again, let me see. That's an inch and a half right there. I didn't want the same size chain for both because I I like things, you know, different. I don't like matchy matchy, like I always say. <laughs> okay. Oop. So, right there, and then I drag it to right there where it belongs, put that through, and then I drop one down, so it's not the one that's wrapped around the head pin, but one down, and now, okay, let me move these little clippings out of the way, and I'll show you how I did this. Okay, so 
I'm okay so I have the jump rings here's the jump rings right here so here's the jump ring that holds it all together so what I did if you can see it's copper on this side silver on this side then when you go up it's copper on this side silver on this side and I crisscross so when I open this jump ring up so you see how that is I'm going to go ahead and do the copper now next to the silver okay so there's one and then there's two then hold that side and you take the silver and you put the silver there on one and the silver there on two so it's a pretty loaded jump ring and then you just make sure you close it up really well Okay, so then you let those fall. So that's one half of it. So now I open up this jump ring to start. So that's good to go. Then I take, I go in, and here's the silver. And I go in and I put the copper through the silver. We got that. Then I take the copper and I put the silver through this. This is... <laughs> okay. And then lay them down. Then I take the jump ring and... Okay. What did I do? Okay, the silver came out. I was trying to do two at once because I'm trying to show you a, f a faster way to do this, but I just don't think that's going to work. Okay. So then I did this. I kind of pull the silver through. There we go. And then I take that and I take that and then I close this up and then I just make sure that it's totally closed there and now we have another attachment I hope this is making sense I just think this looks so pretty. I mean, this looks so pretty. So I'm going to do some more. Turn this into... I'm thinking about turning it into um, a necklace. I'm kind of holding it up. And then maybe putting a lobster clasp at the top and then maybe doing some of these danglies at the bottom. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, so I'm going to do some more of these. So I do this one, two, one and a half. And you could, I mean, the thing about this is I'm just kind of showing you this method. You could do them longer. You could do them shorter. I'm doing that one. Oops. And then doing this one. I think this is, I don't know, I just, I was like, I wanted to do a mixed metal, another necklace. I had done one a while ago and, oh, okay. So we have these two. And then, now if I wasn't filming this, I would be leaning over and trimming these right into the garbage. That's usually when I'm working, that's usually what I do. So. Okay. 
Sometimes you get a nice one like that. <laughs> And then we got this one. Trim that up. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm cleaning up around these because this is gonna be a big mess in my room. But that's okay, because I think this looks really pretty. So now I'm going to take, go in and find, okay, so here's my jump ring. And it's just kind of like chunky, you know, it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason, but it's just, the colors are so flashy. Okay, I'm taking these two, opening this up. Now this is the copper side. So I'm going to put, set this down. Put in the silver side where the copper is. And then grabbing this side and putting the copper next to the silver. So that way it kind of switches over. And Okay, and you dangle that down. And then I like to have this open and ready to go like that. So then I do, I'm just gonna do the copper Do the copper through. Oh, that last one never came off where I cut it. <laughs> there we go. Let me do the copper to here. It kind of falls like that. And then I try and hold this so stick my finger through there. Okay. Oh. I'll put my pinky through instead. And then do the silver through that. This is, of course I have to pick one of the most difficult things to do to show you guys, but I just think this looks so cool. This and then this. Wait, before it. Okay. Just make sure those are totally closed. This is a really pretty chain. I mean, you could you could make a bracelet out of this too, you know. But just um, just looking at this, it's like wow, love the way this is looking. Oh, I didn't get. The, hold on one second. The copper one. I got too too far down. I got. Why am I trying to do this with my big clunky fingers? Okay, that's why that wasn't laying right. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one. Where is the end of this? Here it is. This. this is right end. Like the 
that cut really good. That one, and then this one. I don't even want to think about when I go to vacuum this room. I know there's some people that actually have carpeting in their bead room. And, you know, parts of me is like, it's kind of a smart idea because, you know, it, they're not knocking all around, you know, when something falls to the ground, it's down on the ground. Do one more. Let me throw these out. Okay. Make sure my writing is good. Okay. So now I'm going to find. Here it is. Got this one right here. So now I'll put the copper on this side and the silver on that side. So, got that. Open up. The side gets the copper. Right, bend it over. Make sure you're getting the last piece because I, nope. See, there we go, and then hold that, and this side is the silver. Make sure that your jump rings are, and you could do bigger jump rings and have them kind of like a statement, you know, like really, uh, stand out with these. I'm not doing that with mine, but you are free to do that if that's what you want for your piece. Okay. So now we have those two. Let me do this one. Okay, so I have that open. So here is this, so I'm going to take this hole, put the copper through it. I feel like I'm getting faster at this now that I've been doing this. And then you put this one right through there, oh. and then this one right through there. So we got that, and now I'm holding this. I'm putting my pinky through here, <laughs> and I'm able to pull this through. Hmm. Okay, it's getting a little easier now. Grab that side. Come on. Oh. Okay. There's do that. Okay, I'm gonna just do it like this. And then that one goes through there. And then here's this one. This goes through there. Let me put this up. There. Okay. So this is this. Okay. So I think this looks really pretty. That just kind of like chunky, fun, chunky. 
Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I, just to, so the video isn't two hours long, <laughs> I made, let me see, I made one, two, three, four, five, six of these connects, uh, connections, and then one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So then I took one of the one and a half inch silver strands and I attached it right here. This is gonna be the top of the necklace. So then I'm gonna take the other one and a half inch and I find, you gotta find your jump ring in here. So here it is. And then I'm going to open this up and put this right here. So this is the top of the necklace. Yes, just ignore the beginning of this video. I, you know, like I'm sure most of you, sometimes I have a vision in my head and it looks really good. And then when I get done, I'm like, no, I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take this jump ring open that up. I have a silver lobster clasp. And wait till you see how I finish this off. This looks so cute. I'm going to put that right there. So we have that done. So there's that. And then I'm going to take this other silver jump ring, open that up, hook it up to there. so that it's attached. Okay, now, hold on, let me turn it this way so you guys can kind of, okay, that's the extra one right there. So, okay, so here's the top part of it right here, lobster clasp and all that. So there's like a little extension chain right there. So I'm gonna drag that up like that so this is gonna be the front of the necklace. So what I did, I cut just some random pieces of the rest of the chain. Um, well, I still have um, copper left and a little bit of the silver left, but so I cut everything from the one and a half to two and a half, and then I did cut, I think, one or two, three, three inch ones. So I have all of these right here. So what I'm going to do now is I have this jump ring is um, five, it's like a third of an inch. So it's a bigger one, okay? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take one, and I'm just randomly putting these on. So I'm take, I am taking the two like longer ones and putting them kind of in the front, in the middle, like this. And then I'm gonna just do a, a silver one. And then I'll do a copper one. I'm doing the longer ones in the middle, but I'll put the shorter ones on the side. So we got that. Let me see, I know I got another longer one here. And then a copper long one. And then we got a silver long one. So this is kind of the front of it. Wait a minute, let me see here. Okay, and then the silver copper. <laughs> this is pretty loaded here. The silver and the copper. <laughs> so now, let me try and go up a little bit so we have a little more room here. So now what I'm going to do is take this end and here's the jump ring right there. I'm going to put that through the jump ring. So it's like that. And then I'm gonna 
find the jump ring over here. Bear with me, here it is. And put it right there. Now oh, this is very busy. This is a busy jump ring. <laughs> and you could do your own, you know, what you wanna do. Like you could, you could put some dangles on these or whatever you wanna do. But I just kind of wanted to leave it kind of just like clean mixed metal. I think this turned out so pretty. So yeah, so here it is. I think this turned out so pretty. I love this. Absolutely love this. This would this would be really pretty for like a dressy event. And you could just um, like wear it with like a, like a black dress or whatever. You can make some earrings to go with it too. I do have some chain left. Um, maybe I'll make it. I'll probably put this up on my Etsy store or maybe I'll keep it for myself. Who knows? But um, yeah, so this is my mixed metal chain necklace. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the mix-up at the beginning. I will definitely put these to good use. But like I said, I start with something and then I'm like, nah, that's not looking good. I, it just, I mean, now when I look at all these, this would have been too busy. I think if I would have just had silver, this would have been okay. But yeah. So Hope you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I have all of my social media below, my Etsy, my Instagram, my Pinterest, and my Facebook pages if you are any of those, on any of those and you wanna follow me. And let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I will put this picture up on a bust at the end of the video so you can see it, where it lays and everything, so. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much and have a great day.